this Tehran Between my finger and thumb, I don't feel numb Till it's a dud, on the ground getting numb I'm buzzing, fresh pack of drum Got swirl in my lungs, stepped in the bookies Down on my luck, Mitsubishi logo All that's picking me up Stepped in the bookies, down on my luck Mitsubishi logo, all that's picking me up Stepped in the bookies, down on my luck Mitsubishi logo, all that's picking me up Stepped in the bookies, down on my luck Mitsubishi logo, all that's picking me up Stepped in the bookies, down on my luck Mitsubishi logo
The night does not know your name, but I do. Patiently, those syllables sit at my brain's foot, willing when summoned to fill in for those other words, those half-life words that I say despite knowing they will not summon you. I hold these sounds, the children of our dreaming who might clutch at our hands or not, if the world folds in on itself, if the world is but a beast that thrashes and digs its head into the sand, as each of us must devastate the earth as we were born to, through meted out autonomy, through government, divinity, these bureaucratic policies, and even if my love is anything less than a gentle thing in the face of this daily annihilation. As we scratch at the sky ceiling, as we march and shout and burn until the sun turns blue, even if the world is anything less than the compass of your arms, I'll not break it, not please God, with my devotion, not feed my grief with the promise of scraps. Merely, I give my name to you and hope to hear you someday in the distant future, a constant calling. Yo, one, two, my name's Yomi. Um, the song's called Architects of Joy. Um, can we turn up? Upstairs, I guess. Can we turn up? It's an unreleased song, so um, just rock with me. Grace all around me. We brag different when we talk in family. Lost, but how we bigger now? We don't die, we just... Gotta give praise on the mains. Can I get an amen? How you love like that? It don't make sense. I just need a witness. I'm standing on business. I look like what I've been through. Take you on a journey what I've been to. Close mouths never get fed. If you want it, gotta chase it, fiend it. Make dirt clean it. Die for the purpose, mean it. So low, but I got a feature. Got up in this, who is this? Standing on business. Do it like a calling, all in. No stalling, gotta do it like my bro did. Grace all around me. We brag different when we talk in family. Lost, but how we bigger now? We don't die, we just... Gotta give praise on the mains, can I get an amen? How you love like that? It don't make sense, I just need a witness. I'm standing on business. This is what standing on business looks like. Grow up in grind, bars gotta make sense, but I gotta do the hook, right? Come on, tell me what it look like. Praise on the mains, bro, I miss you. More than words when I say it, cause you're still here, really. I don't know what to say, we just keep going. Head high, that guy going hella hard, but it's soft, soft, really. Grace all around me, we break different when we talk in family. Lost, but how we bigger now? We don't die, we just... Gotta give praise on the mains, can I get an amen? How you love like that? It don't make sense, I just need a witness. I'm standing on business, grace all around me. We brag different when we talk in family. Uh, lost, but how we bigger now? We don't die, we just gotta give praise on the mains. Can I get an amen? Hell, love like that. It don't make sense. I just need a witness. I'm standing on business. Thank you very much. long for daylight to go, to become gone, here, if we can call the black water of my back stretched out a place, 
holding your image, wavering like the reflection of a moon, I swear, nobody on land has been this delicate. Where your hand is pressing, my love, my love, my love, yoke is forming and, and you sink in me. I run with you. 12 past three, Camden. Kiss skip down my back, guessing where your mouth might land. Lose count of the next, the next, and the next one. 602, Athens. So daylight has come to wrap me around you. Makes a morning of us dream, clings like dew. Bodies flowering into singing colour. Bodies flowering into singing colour. 253, Peckham. Swaying in any which way eyes might catch me. Yes, this young and brazen. Yes, me. Just another fruit getting ripe under the sun of somebody. And though I could twist towards endless arms, let the pulp swell and give it to anyone, I won't. Midnight, nowhere. My ear at the pulse spinning out from your chest like a left record. Play me only this, beat after beat after beat. There I was, all up in it. The ripening years twisted into oiled locks, all loving, each living inch all over kissed over fire. I gave thanks for these loyal bones. Green fingers, rolling night, all wine, all wonder. Mirror caught my body twirling out of sage smoke. I was already needing the song, soil, sweat of these dreams. Knowing nothing of a binary bondage, a bountiful mess of myself. Everything under the sun is changing all the time, all my skin soft, lovers flocking to the river, all water leads to my center. Filling slowly with truth, there I was, all set in my ways. All of them blooming. Ordinary Dreams. This Lord is Lord is Lord sound, we dance out towards forbidden freedoms, there are ways to break, law, 
gravity. Tell somebody how it feels. All that must be done is remember to be in love. That first one. You cannot do it for a future as long as light to spill into us. You cannot do it to save your life. This love. Sing of our being. So loose, so long. And let every bullet sent burst into nothingness on its way. A ground grows for us. Somewhere between now and when. No fleeing. No fear. The soil and seed of ordinary dreams. what freedom is to me, no fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I, if I could have that half of my life, Table at night, 
Together we sit, break bread, laugh, go. I notice their inward concern. Feed them with kindness, belly their doubts. And when the clock approaches its natural turn, I say goodbye again. Some of them are ready to go. Others cling at my knees. I stroke their lovely, unruly heads. I cannot fake a brightness that was always my own. And when they leave, it is to know heaven, simply an open door. Purpose Blessing for Geese, written on finest napkin paper on the train. Goose has always been my favorite word, and I use it to refer to anything or anyone I love. So here is an all-purpose blessing, especially for all the geese in this room. My spirit flows with you. Dear Goose, Let's dip our toes in the waters of this blessing. First, pick up your hopes into the sky. Let them glide like the hairy legs of comets. Let both the light and the dark winter in you, Goose. You are more than a plant that thrives on neglect. You dwell within a wood of your own dreaming. Whatever the dust that sits on your mind, gently brush it off. There will always be more dust, and there will always be more brushing. Dear Goose, if you gaze in the mirror of someone else's desire, you may not find your own reflection. You are no paltry thing. You are a goose. Cherish your longings. Keep honking. You cannot live within the shell of someone else's expectations. You must break your own journey ahead. Protect your rest and your rage. You must find a space away from the hurly-burly. You must find respite from the spirits that would vex your bones. Dear Goose, love is in the loving, just as Goose is in the goosing. Do not deny the well of gentleness within you. Do not deny the well of rage within you. Between the two sits a heart rock waiting on which love sits. It is a daily lesson, learning how to be held, learning how to hold others, just as we must hold each other in softness, we must also hold each other in rage, in longing, in resistance, in hope, and in action. With care and communion, we make a murmuration. Words become feathers, become wings of love and grief. 
as we flock together, as we hold this time of yearning. Together we make a makeshift morning. Thank you. You believed, right? Enough worship to keep us both alive. What if you were anathema and I was the leftover sacrifice? I'm trying to make metaphors out of my sadness, but it don't work. I got work nine in the morning, there's no time for soul search. In between mattresses, I turn them on their sides. Flip up the cocks and look out for the brides. I wanted to be a god because gods couldn't be discarded of. But then I read Abraham's story, the temple, the idols lost. I'm late to everything. All my loved ones are making excuses for me. I'm lucid dreaming to fit in multiple lives efficiently. I'm in love with picnic blankets. I'm in love with their swish. Belting out karaoke anthems, forgetting the words to smash hits. And I was your ruin, and I let you orbit me, my false moon. Pretended to be a better thing, an oceanic altar, a typhoon. The night pours into my body, I'm tossing and turning in my sleep. The boss in my head is mocking me, taunting me, that all my heartbreak is forever mine to keep. And when I collect conquers, I shake off the dried moths. I hold the steady in my palm, waiting for the unfurled cloth. I could have been your tidal pool, your maelstrom, your rain, your water-stained able, your curse-struck flesh, your cane. The world's in blossom and I can't smell nothing. I have to make appointments to see my friends, so I chat to the trees, tell them I'm exhausted instead. See you on a hill overlooking the A13. You're a poem set in nature, you're a nature poem. You're the sailor that left land and never missed it. You're the thing I miss without recognizing I miss it. Maybe I'm too sensitive. Give me a tender understanding and pretend you don't see me of white lies and double texts. Let me collapse into myself, give me the time to reconnect. I'm trying to love mulch so I don't feel scared anymore. A foreman with his stick in the warren, that sweet share. Look at your two palms, your good face, your skin tight. You made me your deity and forgot to pray at night. Spare me your sponsored luxuries and dreams over my nose. I just want a list of certainties. All my dead seem to a roller decks of faces to kiss. No pride prayer times ever gone amiss. A girl locks herself in her mind. Then she says no, nah, kicks open the door. Tries to work out a way to connect, come back to space. I wanted acolytes and adages. I wanted your blessed eyes on my passages. You foretelling my future, you made me holiest. I promise I'm finding ways to escape my body. I want to be boring again. Give me the seeds to confess my regrets into. I'm walking back into my own arms. Let them hold me again. Let's start in the middle of a daydream. Seems running up the clouds. I want the days displaced. I want to stalk you to the grave. God signs to you, I speak to you and translate, which theophany would have meant you stay. on beauty and vials of siren blood. Siren, 
A siren is a misplaced oar, a child who glistens too bright. They're read wrong, they're misnamed, they threaten the natural order of the world. The siren is clad in silver, apparently this is to save them, apparently this is how it works. A creature covered in something mineable, the miner that stumbles across them. What happens next? I'll tell you the story of how the first siren was discovered. A lone miner searching for silver. Instead, he came across their slaked body, pale and covered in lime scales, fins clogged from the earth. He mined. The word mine as in to refer to a thing or things belonging to. Sorry, I mean the word mine as in excavation from the earth. Focus on the earth. Focus on the personal pronoun, the sound of a pick cracking against their skin. Mine, 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 mine. A siren stumbling out of the quarry, fins wet, it is still alive. Mine. G was a siren, and siren here is a stand in for all the slurs for those who aren't allowed on land, but it's softer somehow. They were born with flapping fins, with scales that made them seem elegant and unusual. They weren't human. They couldn't hide that they stank of. I go to a party with G. A tall man welcomes us in. He has the markers for wealth, gold rings and a furred cat, manicured whiskers and soft nail beds. Around G, I forget myself sometimes. They know how a diamond is cut and where it should be placed on a ring. They recite the carrots off by heart. They call things cheap in three languages. My eye keeps catching the miner bent in the soil, pulling an oar from the ground. G grew up differently, manicured accent, placed nowhere specific. They tell me to close my eyes and spend the money. Don't you have the money? My father shows me his worn shoes, his hard hat, and asks me to write an ode to them. He works in the mine, trying to forfeit his own ruin. The shoes have split wide in the back. I stitch them back up. Everything still functions. It is only beautiful if I manufacture its function, I tell G. They laugh at me. I am used to people manufacturing beauty. It starts with the man emerging from the tunnel, clasping a lodestone. It starts with my relatives, low on money and still material. Someone ransacks a closet and sews a new suit. Maroon, maroon in that building, surrounded on all sides by people with too much money. No one I have ever loved has ever had enough of it. The sirens I'm with, they drink and talk they move through the world tall. Yes, you're supposed to be of them, to want them. Now you witness it, the cutting look, the glib smile. You keep forgetting, you're not the same. They glide into the world, their fins work so well, opening and opening. You try to follow them, they're a trail of stars. Star a fixed luminescent point in the night sky which is a large remote incandescent body like the sun g is incandescent i mean luminous i mean beautiful i mean they are fixed in the sky i mean they are affixing the sky moving things around unfolding the night and looking for parts of it that are still aglow to tie themselves to g do you remember what you used to be Two decades backwards and you're cramped in the corner, hoping that they don't see what marks you, your luminescent scale. Do you remember two generations back and your family are like mine, sorting through the slag heap, looking for something to tie to themselves? Have you seen what money does to people? It makes them forget. Your only failing was how bright your eyes were, how alight they seemed an infinite resource they wanted to extract. You rebelled by being more incandescent, by wearing gold around your neck and burnishing your scales. All the sirens I knew were 
which is another word for the slur that I won't say. I'll say instead your bones were softer, weighted down with material, with metal, with the mind. The siren is clad in silver, this is to save them. The siren is clad in silver because people do not immediately kill silver things. They mine what they can first. Sometimes they make a grammatical error and you become theirs. Sometimes this means you are protected. Sometimes this means you survive your own slaughter. So many don't. You, siren, have the audacity to be beautiful and your blood is heady. If you let them, they will collect it in vials and daub it on themselves, hoping they too can alter the planet's orbit with this beauty. God's most creation, Yusuf, is pushed into a well by his brothers. His only crime is, subsequently, he is pushed against a wall, a jail cell, his father's arms. God concludes there will be less on earth. There has to be less. We are never as again. Every time someone is deemed beautiful, someone else is killed. How can you explain all this? As they rush towards the newly discovered ore, two more bodies are crushed and fall to the wayside. It's worth more than any mineral. It promises too many futures. Salvation in the palm. Two bodies are crushed for this beauty beauty as whatever will get you to the next outpost if they can stand your body enough to help you out of the ground to hold their hands over your temples if they can stand your body enough in the case of Yusuf it was a weapon the women watching him let their knives sink into their hands his beauty undid pain his brother pushed him into a well wanting to douse it drown him the first time G maimed someone, they made me hold the body still. The man struggled against us, spilling so much blood, the color of oxidized iron, it stained the ground. G told me that he deserved it. It was kill or be killed. This was the active cost. Somebody had to pay. At the party, the sirens talk only to men with money. They look at the men. The men look at them. I watch them regard each other. I don't know who is meat, I mean, meant to meet. G pockets the finger and the ring it was wearing. The blood stains their velvet jacket darker. At the party, it reaches the part of the night where the sirens begin showing each other their scars, the ones they gained living above ground. At the end of the night, they wipe the pigment from their faces. They look frail, ordinary almost human. I can see each of their paws in the light, gaping. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sweat smelled of perfume. He slept on bark and leather at night. Everything else about his person fell between the two modes, the medium. This isn't to say that he wasn't beautiful, only to say he did not exceed anything. He did not surpass the means. I mean, what humanity could hold. I mean, what humanity could. This body is alone from God. How dare I be arrogant? The body, aura, altar, is a mind shaft then. I am living inside of, is a grant, is a bursary. God the impatient burser. I make inside of it what I can, within my means. If you want to know where my beauty ends, Look at my face in the mirror at 45 degrees. Look at my face during the years 2011 to 2016. These are the years of the well, the years of the darkness. In the years of the well, my father often told me I was fall hermo. To translate it abrasively, he meant ugly, but he also meant bad, as in rotten luck, as in rotten face as in rot, I stank of to be ugly, to be unlucky, to be unfavorable also. He wasn't a semantologist. He didn't mean many things. He meant ugly, low-browed, short-haired. He meant failed star. He meant I was a god and this was my creation. 
He meant my wasted genome, my spoilt impetus, my ruined offspring, my false goal. I should have left you in the mine. G started maiming sirens, kept making massacres. They said they needed the jewels. It was either be the brightest or be dead. At the mines, a woman with a thick beard she has sewn gems in hosts after parties where we dress up for each other, pulling what we can out of the wreck. Sometimes we catch the eye of a god. Sometimes the god makes those sirens disappear. Sometimes they reappear in the city for lack of another word, better. Some of them have one long guilt scar tracing their spine. This sort of wound is easier to look on, easy on the eyes, something about the symmetry. Sure, all our bodies are alone, but some are costlier. G has one long guilt scar trailing up their back from where their lover paid for them to have their fins removed. They were still a siren, only they could hide it better. G pays for our drinks by swiping their card, their wallet filled with notes spilling everywhere. In amongst them, their fin desiccated and dry, a wearable skin, for when they are amongst the rest of us, we go to another party. This time, G says, be beautiful or don't attend. They turn up to the event, clad in precious metals. It calls back that old myth, the one all the murdered sirens believed in. Be a glinting totem, it will keep you safe. I wear what I can, I pull myself out of the well. I sew out of the scraps what I can afford to. I'm not new to this sort of mischief, trick of the light. I follow the scene, it feels like survival. The glinting gold, the plea, God, remember me. If not me, then this primordial material, this thing almost as old as you are that you left buried on earth. Be beautiful or don't attend. Your beauty too fragile to include more. It's the glass net that you take with you upwards. I saw you in the well too, adding mud to your eyelashes to make them longer. Did you hope for the same thing? that they would welcome you in, that you could stay in their hearts longer. G, the welcomed siren, they are holding a harpoon in a glass frame on the wall. It is still coated in our blood. Why did you allow it to happen? Did it help affix your position to the man with the manicured accent? Tell me it was worth it, the body I held while you cut and cut at it your accumulated belongings, the gore and the jewels. It wasn't enough. You had to want more. Gee, I don't think it matters to you who is murdered to make your kingdom, so long as you can rule it, even if the lifeless body is mine. You're the exception they let wander in. You're the exception they let exist in that place. Our blood is in their vials, note it down. They will kill you too. This offering is inspired by the first line of Boyega's poem, Poems with Drums, from his pamphlet, While I Yet Live, by Bad Betty Press. In awe of love, I bring you the part of the heart that's forever young, unaltered. The center of our dartboard we're most likely to hide for protection or to forget. The drumming beat in the center of us all, softly certain, reliable. When everything melts away, we are what we give. 
so I bring you flowers, as people have always brought flowers, scented, soothing, eternal. I bring you dried lavender for calm, to lay outside as an offering. Imagine it snug inside tree bark, nestled amongst roots, thrown into the sea. I thank you for how nature listens, remembers, welcomes us in. I offer you balms to smooth your lips, pulse points, rub on your neck and wrists, or to place in the palm or pocket of a loved one. Rose for wonder, ylang ylang for ease. I offer you soaps to cleanse and heal, made from mango, shea, and cocoa butter. Myrrh and frankincense for the spirit, calendula for the skin, in the shape of a heart, mine, yours, ours. I bring you all of this held together with gold, not to say that you deserve the best, because deserving is unhelpful, but rather to say this is what we have, treasure, what we can make and share. Small tokens in awe of love for you. I hope that they can bring you comfort.
this landscape is like falling head first, wild abandon into sweet aliveness, where mist beckons into a safe hold and the air rubs your back. My rough fingertips meet gentle cherry blossom. Toes shuffle in boot and squelch in mud, but not the kind of mud that makes you stuck. Here it feels like cotton candy and coats the soles of weary feet, like water that bathes souls when they are lost and tells them where to rest. Dew drops on grass tips like honey stuck to your bottom lip. In the nowhere of my hereness, on the hill above the houses, looking out onto the horizon. Rooftops peek through the clouds. Between the thickets, brambles, dandelion roots, I tread into the unknown. And despite it all, the magpies greet me with their song. And despite it all, the heaviness of the world shrinks. And despite it all, the earth rushes to hold me in orbit. And my cedium smiles. For even when I walk alone, I feel you in every crevice of the sky in non-judgmental hushes of trees and in the heat emanating from astral sunlight. Someone wise once said to me that solitude is different to loneliness. Maybe they knew that to be all alone in nature is not to really be alone, but in the deepest form of communion. All at once, with lungs open, breaths slow, I am only as settled as my body is ready to know. I am only as settled as my body is ready to know. I am only as settled as my body is ready to know. Thank you. This next one is called Grief as Love with No Place to Go. And um, I'd love to dedicate it to my beautiful friend, Joel. They tell me grief comes in waves but not that you never stop drowning. Time is the best healer, but not that your back was born broken from generations before you. They say don't cry over spilled milk, but what if it never stops spilling? The truth is, I envy the rain for not asking the clouds why they're falling. Have you ever wondered if moss can swallow you whole? I asked the soil, can she take me home? She asked me where that is. I tell her I don't know. It is dusk and my heart has burst into flames. I watch it like a canoe alight in some Viking funeral. It floats across a sea that I've never met. Are you okay? You ask on the other end of the phone. Muffled silence. I don't hear you. I floated away long ago. Put phone on silent. Scrap that, do not disturb. Scratch that airplane mode. Ask politely that the world stops notifying me, that emails stop finding me well. Beg they give up and stop finding me at all. Mushrooms have fruiting bodies. Their bodies fruit from the fruits of other bodies, but nobody likes to talk about it. Their mycelium digests insects, 
One beetle fly, stitching them like fine white threads interwoven, a spider's web. Somebody mentions death. Everybody shuffles and fidgets, avoids eye contact. Didn't anybody tell you it's impolite to talk about that in public? If I'm held in place by soil, why does it feel like I'm always somewhere else? Whispering filaments speak to each other, knowing I am here. Sense my every footstep. Can they tell me what will become of here? What will fruit from me? What kind of ancestor will I be? I am calling your name in my dreams. I pray that you are safe. May your threads of joy and laughter eternally weave through us like your presence in all of our lives. May your threads of joy and laughter eternally weave through us like your presence in all of our lives. Thank you. Decompose me, I wish to serve a different realm. If this world wasn't good enough for them, then control, delete, factory, reset it, for real, I'm done. I'd rather let microbial wizardry reconstitute my chemistry, finally tell me where I'm from. And since we all return to the same earth, I wonder who on earth you are to tell me I belong. Feed them all detritus, decompose, replace. When greater empires fell, we seeded abundance in their place. Abundance in their place. Abundance in their place. Insta, meta, TikTok, X, mindless scrolling through my feed. Feeds me news of another murder, another horror, another grief. Doctor tells me it's burnout, slash seasonal depression, slash chronic depression. On my fit note, he scribbles the word capitalism in big red letters. When I sleep, I find myself buried under meters of pitch black soil, and wood lice bathe my brain in cerebral fluids, critters crawl into my eye sockets, and lung squirms as worms move through it. From this primordial soup of consciousness, I wonder if this is the nightmare or if our waking lives are it. Feed them all detritus, decompose, replace. When greater empires fell, we built community in their place. Community in their place. We built community in their place. New Vice article says, cops are doing shrooms to save their mental health. But the same people who never kept us safe can't be saved from themselves. I imagine the people with power being digested and fed to fungal threads and us rising up in mycelium resistance to create a new just world instead. It's the age old love story a rom-com, meet cute in the making. Hyphal threads touch, touches hyphal threads to a vast netted mycelium weaves us into solidarity. For abolition, it's not about absence, but presence. And I hold on to hope that when all is said and done, we will come together to mourn, to dream, and to rebuild. Feed them all detritus, decompose, replace. When greater empires fell, we found heart in this place. Heart in their place, heart in their place. 
We, the carers, weavers, decomposers, are seeds buried in earth, generating spores of revolution and harvesting the ruins from which to emerge. Thank you. Yo, we gotta stick to the plan. We gotta stick to the vision. Dealing with grief, but still on the mission. Make sure they listen. We gotta stick to the plan. We gotta stick to the vision. Dealing with grief, but still on the mission. Make sure they listen. We gotta listen, but we listen rarely. They do not hear me. I do this minute daily, yearly. Soft, soft, how? Now ain't it soft right here? Dealing with grief, miss me with that. I'm listening back. They ain't really hearing my words though. Dealing with grief, dealing with... Dealing with grief, dealing with so much. We gotta stick to the plan. We gotta stick to the vision. Make sure they listen. They do not hear me, they do not hear me. I do this daily, minute, yearly. Dealing with grief, miss me with that. I'm listening in the head, ain't listening back. Dealing with grief, bro, I miss you. I don't even know what to say, but we keep going and go when we show up. Toe up, pull up. No more words, just know that I miss you, miss you really. I miss you so much, miss you really, miss you daily. of Sultana's kingdom. Spin the globe clockwise. Land your finger anywhere. Travel across cultures through the cafes, pubs, white plastic chairs pitched outside in alleyways till you find a thick cloud of tobacco smoke, bowls of crystal sugar, and men who meet every day between their shisha pipes and bottles of beer and cups of coffee with no knowledge of the piled dishes in the sink or what time his kids go to bed. There is sports playing on the screen, which means their bickering won't qualify as gossip. These good men who have earned their rights to relax whilst they abandon their families, can't even do it in style. Imagine if the lonely wives started to speak to each other instead, left all the kitchen appliances on and walked out of their velvet ghettos. What would be the first thing they do? Dig up their hidden skirts, slink off under the night sky Swarm the club toilets, laugh inappropriately at their husband's missed calls, pointing at everything that asks for help and telling it to fuck off. Sixth sense. It is true that God gives those he loves a sixth sense. So when all your nerves were on fire in the middle of the night, the clocks began to melt into red oblivion, and my body walked itself to you automatically, a 
dish full of blood and loose gum still. There were scraps of you beneath his teeth sticking. How a peach does in your mouth when you puncture it. Perhaps we always underestimated each other. We're on our 11th reincarnation now of cussing out dodgy men and shit governments. And perhaps being a ride or die babe became too literal for us. I take my ear to your chest and all I hear is red oblivion. Around him we set up duplicates of ourselves, plus a baseball bat, plus a pit bull, plus any boys that share our face. See how long he takes to ferment under the floorboards. And then we say we love God, and God loves us back. And look at us here loving each other again, with the man's skin sticking to the ends of our bats, how a peach does in your mouth when you puncture it, laughing with our heads cocked back at all the things that fell to kill us. Orange is my favorite color. Here are the reasons why. Because your lip liner is the perfect shade of mocha. Because of the time we sat in that dingy kebab shop and relished our mutual love for shameful thrills. Because we exchanged tips on how to kiss boys behind our mother's back. Because lying for each other is our reflex born out of care, both each other's forever alibi. Because you said you would barter with God to make sure our enemies get the appropriate treatment. Because you have the hair of a rich wife that shows up to a school reunion and induces a midlife crisis in her former classmates. Because you naturally have the cheeks celebrities pay for. Because when we meet, we imagine new worlds for hours. Joy riding near a beach or cutting fruit in an airy apartment or trying to figure out how we'll pass down our sorry Bengali to our future children. Because our connection must mean we're related in a past life. So it's almost disrespectful if we didn't claim family now. Because we can sit in silence. Because of all the times I thought I deserved failed men and found my way onto your shoulder. You nursed me out of delusion saying, to hell with them and to hell with everything that shrinks us to half-lives. We wouldn't dare practice passive love to each other. So what excuse was there for everyone else? Because you can tell me you hate anyone and I'll come back with a thousand delicious ways to end them. Because the first time I met you, I thought you was weird. So if our friendship was ever made into a coming of age film, and have an incredible development arc. Because when you told me what your favorite color was, you closed your eyes, had your palms gesture into the sky and said, orange, as if you were advocating for it on a global stage. It's like the color's me, I can't explain it. So when the man in the tropical shirt starts yodeling on my commute to work, or I see a young lover receiving her marigold, or when the pregnant sun leaks into the sky at Maghrib, my brain looks at those burnt hues and understands, automatically replays all the life I've lived with you. Song. Every day you unravel, I meet a version of you. Once, at breakfast, the smell of oranges made the table and it took you back. And then your face dropped to ask me what year we're in. And I responded, whichever one was your happiest. Before my eyes, you left me, came back not yet ruined by motherhood. Boy figure, dirty mouth, quick replies, salvaging the orange pills. Did you know you could use pills in your food? 
There's no such thing as waste even when your purpose is gone. Everything is a cycle. You serve up a portion of orange curry and then you walk through the door again, plump in the face, pregnant with my eldest brother. I never knew a version of you without eye bags existed. You bring up six bags of groceries all on your own to the top of your flat. Before you wash the vegetables, you put the radio on and let the music flood. Did you know songs can stay in you forever because of the brain's ability to compartmentalize? That even when the harshest disease comes to play tricks, the songs lock themselves in. That when you are no longer human, you can at least be turned into a music box. Your head is laying in my lap. After each surgery, your eyes stay psychedelic. Your son teaches you how to swallow again. I sit you up and show you how to make shapes with your mouth. Whilst the radio plays, you swear blind that you know the girl who sings this song. Swears an orange skirt, famous waistline. You say Shakira, I say Shakira. everyone doing? Maybe just take a breath. <sighs> the world has a lot. Hold your head. Um, as a tea on a quiet ease, hold my head. Where are you within me? Where did all our landmarks find themselves? Turn to me and let's walk. Are you keeping up? Strange waves of elsewhereness. There are always things happening around us. Are you looking after us? I feel it sometimes, more times. I feel like God is on our side. I feel hope. But I shy away from that too. Perhaps it's a glimmer, like the way a pavement in rain sees the buildings above. 
my mind's eye goes home to warped towers. I go inside my tongue in the drawers of a memory. Silk in line like the weekend that belongs to you now. <sighs> I am emptying my toolkit on the ground, thinking, Surely something's got to give. Listening to you say, come by my mum's for a cuppa. On a road, flights got you wishing real far. Merry blues, Jane Normal got you driving so far. We rest on a shore, seeing 33 angel numbers. For confidence in God's plan, listening to a friend say, a friend says you can call me anytime you know, and the other one knows, always knew. A friend opens his fridge on FaceTime and his mum has left him so much to feast on. He's getting his table ready, a little one right opposite the TV, to watch a rom-com while he turns off from the world. But he will talk to his friend about whatever needs paid mind. He asks questions like, how do you peel your tangerines? A friend runs to train doors as they close. They wave through the glass. And suddenly the other friend wants to be back on the platform with them. She forgets her glasses one day in the hip pockets of his shirts, all them many shirts. They travel to the center of the world to return, to get it back and see St. Pancras's liminal spot. They consider eating and decide to talk instead. Is touching warm in the sun. A friend is so beautiful at night in his singlet so beautiful reading to us at a picnic so sublime when he passes you flowers in the rain and a friend says let's bet a pinky home in my heart things are coming off each of the actions we are making are moving us towards where we want to be. Everything I know you to be doing is moving you out of the place where you feel like you're not doing enough or enough. I love you bare. Hold your head. Mommy raised me on government Tropicana. Hagen does after we scoot through room. Silver spoons, rusty, must be what a muse, Lucy. Who would have known about this nuisance? Lexamore, unruly. Mommy made sure, bless the womb, she. 
Made a crown for this single bedded cream she made a crown for this single bedded cream she made a crown for this single bedded yeah my mummy raised me on government tropicana haven does after we scoot through wounds silver spoons rusty must be what a muse lucy who would have known about this nuisance like some more unruly mummy made sure bless the womb she made a crown for this single bedded cream she made a crown for this single bedded cream she she made a crown for this single bedded queen. Pray pink into that grey stairwell. We pray pink into that grey stairwell. Uh, pray pink into that grey stairwell. Uh, we pee pink into that grey stairwell. Uh, pray pink into that grey stairwell. Uh, we pray pink into that grey stairwell. Uh, we La la, I went away, but I didn't go far. Left my scars on this hill and they stayed. Bet concrete still remembers my love. Cause these scars still remember my name. These scars still remember my name. These scars still remember me. The blog told me that first floor and a door key ain't all if I don't like your energy. Lexi Benoki, what a guan, how far? I took a couple L's and let it simmer for the culture. Can't you what it do, my G? Let's eat. I think I caught a W, I'll share it if you let me. Just made another move, I think I got the message. The fall came before the blessing. I said the fall came before the blessing. I said the fall came before the blessing. I think the concrete knows my name, dog. Think the concrete knows my name, dog. I think the concrete knows my name, dog. Think the concrete knows my name, dog. I think the concrete knows my name, dog. I think the concrete knows my name, dog. I think the concrete knows my name. Prayer is a key I lost in year seven. RS lesson, Evelyn said she saw it, but I bet she never. Can't tell mum it's like the third time. Gotta find another way in. My endeavors severing lifelines. I got vice, I snuggle in my bed sheet. Nightlight vice, I got vices I quite like. And yeah, I'm better than this, but me, I won't lie. Can't give many fucks, I'll open up. Cause that my stress is to my eye line. Six foot 20, I'm living life on a knife edge. Till the Lucy chill me, I can't die yet. Please, my G, but I got back at 16, I had the dream. Dream indeed, it did the damage, I ain't been the same. Chuck boots, screwed loose, and my tracky bay on the same. Wave still trying to assimilate. Been here for yonks, quarter lashing off my mother tongue. I thought my Yorkshire pudding would gel off to keep me sane. Diaspora trying to move in a second place. We trying to move in a second place. Wish we could have looked for power in another way, but look how what we did with the dust. Look at 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 what we did with the dust. Pray and pink into that grey stone. Pray and pink into that grey. Pray and pink into that grey stone. Pray and pink into that grey. Pray and pink into that grey stone. Pray and pink into that grey. Pray and pink into that grave. Pray and pink. Thank you. I pray the Lord sees my intention. Nobody ate a slice off a mint well, though, so pray the seeds sown at my inception. Know a bit about what this entails, I hope so. So been woke before my entrails, the Lord knows I move slow, think rapid. Peace seeks through the sweat beads in my mattress. These avid dreams left my mind in tatters, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. Only one that knows I got it all to do. Look mommy in the eye and said, it's all for you. She looked at me back and said, baby boo, this grind ain't stopped since 92. Bless you and your cotton socks. I get it now, I took it down a notch. Granddaddy told me I was born on marble floor. So I can't fear no man that doesn't fear my Lord. I can't fear no man that doesn't fear my Lord. I can't. 
Fear no man that doesn't fear me back. I can't fear no lack I done seen before. If I seen it before and I'm still here. Been here, been a minute. See, I found myself indiscriminate. Yo, I duck and punch at the same time. Prone a couple so much, I got it seamless. Knuckles bleeding, screaming, better believe it. Spent another summer time pledging my allegiance to beats and the beating. Dancing with demons, asking Jesus, my G, where the Jesus time? Going out and I can't feel my mind. Going out and I ain't spoke to God. I keep asking him what I'll be in time. I'm waiting on a response from him. I just told my mum, find out oh, life not be more and more, but I got it. Wondered often what I'd be without and watching. Still, probably with a prophesied prophet. Pockets still mocking, still a problem. I'm still out here. Found saviors in my frustrations. I've been bopping with this limp proper light, yeah. Yeah, for a little while now I've been about this Asking me where my song's been hiding Said I'm trying to find a way to say what I've got to say But it never seems to glorify my silence So I give up, then figure Been about ten years I've been writing And see I've been on my knees from the first few weeks Let me not lie I'm trying to make this thing my life Trying to live long thinking I know why I told Kay the other day I don't think I fear death I think I fear regrets And I don't think I've tried I Honestly don't think I've tried And self-doubt is one hell of a drug Heavy conversations with a heaven above um, I'm praying it don't get the better of us um, I'm praying it don't get the better of us uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of us uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of us uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of us uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me uh, I'm praying it don't get the better of me Clawing it peace uh, Clawing it back for some 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 peace Thank you, thank you We got one more. He likes Jay Dilla, yeah. Anyone? Right. I love this beat off of YouTube. This is called Life. Try, try, try. 
I, 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 I Been messing with this mind I see these eyes burn I see visions my mind Don't know I've got my soul Praise and hope About this life, 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 life You ain't gotta try me We are been waiting for days. Grenades of faith can make it hard to believe. We are visionaries and blacker berries. All the ring these bellies to rumble even louder. Apparition's just the flower every hour. Every minute ever lived diminished. Every second just devoured in this hour. The world is ours. Cowards cowering under strong towers. Lord knows. Faith shakes like Harlem though. Lord forgive the risk is a bitch. I suppose I propose pose was supposed to hold my sanity in. Vanity it seems it's seeping through these fingers. That once one I've over birthed the flood lungs. Defend the unsung daughter of the sun there is. No choice you were chosen as a proponent come to come to the come up I told my life you ain't got a try me you ain't got a try me 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 you ain't got a try 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 I've been messing with my mind see these eyes don't see visions my mind I got my soul praising oath about this life. You ain't gotta try me. History better cleave to these endeavors. Victory better cleave to disbelief. The message birth dependent the sentence, but no prison can hold a soul redeemed. See, we were poets before the poetry. We were artists before we needed answers, asking does the target blame the dart or the archer for this carnage I've started? Questioning my answers like, dear father, why does this passion make it harder to start our pain? Oh, this whole paint, no sick joke, no soul regardless. Path is entrenched in the REM. My mommy was a dreamer and she again birthed a violent believer in the present tense. Seems that she was right to say we dream were the only ones afraid. She said, we dream what I only want to fight. Yeah, we dream what I only want to fight. Hey, yeah, yeah, my mommy said, break. She said, we dream what I only want to break. She said, we dream what I only want to break. What I only want to break. Oh, yeah, my mommy said, break. She said, we dream what I only want to break. I told my life, you ain't gonna try. You ain't gonna try me. You ain't gonna try. I, I've been messing with my mind. See these eyes, don't see visions. My mind don't know. I got my soul blessing hope about this life, 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 life. You ain't gonna try. Hello to everyone, am I a prick? What's going on? Hello everyone. Yeah? We're in South London, what the fuck? You greet me like you're in South London, yeah? We're in depth for the wall places. Come on, what are you talking about? Is this SE14? I don't know, I'm from like, SE8? SE14 is like down the road, isn't it? Yeah. All right. I'm from Northwest London, proudly, but yeah. When Ryan asked me, what's the current male suicide rate? I said, I don't know what men are charging these days. Him, you always have to make everything a joke. Me, I'm a window. I'm transparent even when I'm not being open. I should have said, Pangea means our world has already fallen apart. A door is just a window that's been to therapy. And 
in my hands I present all the space I have to hold myself and would you please show me how much space you have I'm a Maggie bottle tonight, That's yeah, this is me. 16 bars for Boyega. Teardrops from the champagne bottle. Escapism on me like curry goat stains, like gunshots. Fridays can smell the Monday in me. Peace on me like an ounce in my jeans, like a Rambo in my jeans. I found a friend and found a piece of me. Big up Boyega. Real men look mumsy in the face, grip the arm like a wristband. And I keep him in my prayers, even though I don't pray. Tears from the bottle. Man can't try a school man on chivalry. I learned it from meat cleavers, pencils, him sheets, black ties. We respect man that divide pie and ice cream amongst thieves. I got off the phone with the sky. It said it's throwing away fallen soldiers. It will rain cemeteries all the way to the hood. I don't pray, so I keep him in my stories. Where champagne bottles have moral compasses. Where teardrops fall behind Gucci glasses. Where Babylon boys want a piece of me and I give them my eyes full of emptiness. You, can, you big up the one person clapping, that's okay. Big up you. No, no, if your heart weren't in it, don't do it. If your heart weren't in it, don't do it. We, yeah, we, yeah, we don't follow fashion around here. That's not what we do. All right, and if I speak of paradise, I speak of ice cold champagne in my palm, your fat head poking out from under my arm like a bouquet from a fist. I speak of my brethren, unofficial cousins, chosen family who don't know their faces are holiday destinations. Your smile is the hammock that could cure insomnia. Your right eye holding me like a grandparent. The percussion of your laughter, a secret knock that opens me. Like hummingbirds at the edge of a flower, I kiss your foreheads. And on days when you are far from me, I tell the wind to bring you back. My nostrils, big as biceps. Goku, I'm just putting that out there, mama's our Goku for real. And if I speak of paradise, I speak of my grandma, whose prayers follow me like private investigators. My grandma, a nurse who delivered babies like me. How lucky we all were to see her first, her face shining into ours like a lamp onto a desk. My grandma lives on God's face. She is his second nose, used for sniffing out evil. My grandma recruited my guardian angel. She held interviews in Leicester, made sure they weren't afraid of the dark, knew how to pump a bike tire. Must be good with kids, must resist temptation to be seen. I pray I never meet my guardian angel, but if I do, their face will be a collage of all my friends. And if the day comes when I do not have my grandma anymore, I will show her picture to newborns all over the country until they stop crying.
Um, if you were born post 2005, you won't get this next poem. And when I speak of paradise, I speak of my phone auto-correcting, buffing to buffeting. And I'm reminded of when man like Ahmed, who we used to call arm leg, said paradise is just buff things on a plate. As in there is so much to take your pick from. Buff things glazed in oils, buff things on ice, warm buff things, spicy buff things. So I get to paradise and see Ahmed swimming in bosoms, buttocks and banter. And he says, Kareem, Wagwan, where's your things? And I say, I don't care for all of yours. I've got mine right here. Cool. I should have changed it, yeah, it's, it's Ramadan. I shouldn't have had Ahmed with, with the buff thing, but alas. And if I speak of paradise, I speak of my granddad who said to take fun seriously. A gardener who planted the seed first, then prayed for rain. My grandfather, who spring-loaded his face with the words of God and spat at demons until their skins fell off. Who told me God needs friends too. So if he ever takes one of yours, you have to understand. Fill your mouth with good words about them. Rub your belly like a genie's lamp. The sky belongs to everybody, and everybody belongs to the sky. And when the genie comes out, wish for late buses and missed trains and beers on benches, because when someone is gone, they are gone. I will live in the same town as a bunch of my clones. We will gather in the square like bathing pigeons. My body split into many bodies. It is impossible for me to die. I am surrounded by so much me. Every reflection in town is a movie of my faces. He has been here for centuries, they'll say. Invasive species, they may call me. Danger to the wildlife. But I'm just living my life, my G. How much more of him is there to come, they say. We cannot handle any more. It is impossible. We are overflowing. The streets are slippery with him. Guy, my boy, my brethren, my spare battery, my spare bazooka. So I should slow down for your sake, innit? My apologies, I'm sorry, Lorna. Now we good? All right, I don't know how fast you are, innit? Cool. My guy, my boy, my brethren, my spare battery, my spare bazooka, my cup of ice water, my bucket full of beans, my first zoot on holiday, my first zoot back home, my cup of peach iced tea, my holographic guardian, my reason to thank God, my currency of ignorance, my balcony zombie sniper, my reason to ask why God, my gymnasium of red wine, my daily habit of happiness, my off-balance weatherman, my island boy shining sharks, my pocket-sized encyclopedia, my curriculum of enlightenment, my guy using a harp as a hairnet, my perfect haircut before the apocalypse, my favorite fish thrown back to the river. My favorite guitar cosplaying as a harp for a laugh. My blood circulating in the background like angels. My spare underwear when I got so drunk I shat myself. The chef who has a good relationship with my minesweeper. My spare underwear when I got so drunk I shat myself. My blood circulating in the background like angels. My favorite guitar cosplaying as a harp for a laugh. 
My favorite fish thrown back to the river. My perfect haircut before the apocalypse. My guy using a harp as a hairnet. My curriculum of enlightenment. My pocket sized encyclopedia. My island boy shining sharks. My off balance weatherman. My daily habit of happiness. My gymnasium of red wine. My reason to ask why God. My balcony zombie sniper. My, cur <laughs> my currency of ignorance. My reason to thank God. My holographic guardian. My cup of peach iced tea. My first zoot back home. My first zoot on holiday. My bucket full of beans. My cup of ice water. My spare bazooka. My spare battery. My brethren. My boy. My guy. Yeah. Um. You know what? For for Nigerian solidarity, I'll hold the super mo. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, thank you all so much for coming. This has been soft, soft. Make some fucking noise, man. What the fuck? Make some noise. Yeah. It's been a good night, no? And what a way to launch Debt for Literature Festival 2024. Uh, make some noise if you're coming to see something tomorrow. Yeah? So that's, that's, that's everybody, yeah? You're contractually obliged. Um, yeah, this has been Soft Soft. Um, follow Neil Print Genie online. They do a bunch of amazing stuff. We do nights like this all the time. Um, I'm surprised no one's occupied. The, yeah, anyway, yeah, cool. Um, uh, we got Tom McAndrew, we got Spread the Word. It is Debt Free Literature Festival tomorrow. So if you have nothing to do tomorrow and you want to be enlightened, uh, maybe flattened slightly by some words, I don't know. Um, come to Deptford Lounge, it's that gold building just down there. You need to book tickets online, um, there's so many things. Um, yeah, the Boyega of the Banjo Foundation. Um, if you don't, I mean, I don't know how you couldn't know, but um, we're here for Boyega at the end of the day. Um, make some noise for Boyega, definitely, 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 definitely. Definitely, um, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. He was the best of us, the absolute best of us. Um, and so, if you're serious about literature, which I take you are since you're here, um, I'm gonna get into my Sunday pastor bag. I'm gonna generously, aggressively ask you to make a donation. Um, the Boyega Odubanjo Foundation, well, say it correctly, the Boyega Odubanjo Foundation is there to support black writers, yeah? Um, there's not a lot of us left, so, um, you know, if you want to see us on live school, you get me, you need to uh, give a donation. Um, there are posters around with a QR code that will link you to the page. Um, is there anything I'm missing, TJ? Again, again, make up everybody, spread the word, Death for Literature Festival. Make some noise for the BSL interpreters, please. We got Lorna. Lorna, yeah? And Petra. Not an easy gig. Not an easy gig, especially when you talk so. Make some noise for the tech team. Make noise for the bar staff and receptionists. And finally, make some noise for yourselves. One more time. Yeah, we'll see you lot tomorrow. We'll see you lot tomorrow. Take care. Blessings. Oh, make some noise for Joe Kinry. The blood fire? Yeah, make some noise for Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Make some noise for Miles, Bailey, the car, uh, 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 on camera. Make noise for Comanche, BTS. Um, live stream camera person. I don't know your name. Shout out now, quickly. Charles? Big up Charles and Ed, of course. Of course. And so, yeah, I think so has gone, but still, we're giving him a big up, yeah? Big up Tidja's mom! Yeah. yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Get on safely, get on safely, get on safely, yeah? Take care. If you like what somebody said, tell them, yeah? Cool, we're gone.